Hi everyone, so this will be just the overview of this uh, really small tool uh, called Measure Tool. And uh, let's start with the installation. So, uh, you just once you download from the Gumroad uh, the RAR file, you can extract it. And inside your file, you, have, you will see these versions for uh, Maya and Maya LT. Uh, there is a reason why it's separate uh, for LT, and I will explain that later. So how you install it, uh, just uh, copy paste uh, all, all icons in the icons folder inside the uh, into the so uh, C users, your username, documents, Maya216, prefs and inside icons. I already have them here so I will not uh, copy them and paste them here again. So once you paste them here you can freely close this one. You have also help, which explains also what I'm explaining uh, here now, if you prefer uh, reading, and uh, also shortly covers the features uh, of the tool. Now how you uh, start it in Maya, uh, open the uh, script editor, And you can just go into the folder and just drag and drop it onto the mail tab. And then select all, control A and just uh, middle mouse drag it onto the shelf. Uh, once there you can load the icon if you want. So just find the uh, K measure shelf icon. I can delete this. And you have it installed. Now I will delete it because I already have it. So. But this is uh, this covers the installation uh, of measure tools in inside Maya. Now about the tool itself, this is the UI when you left click on it, and what it does is uh, just uses uh, just makes a bit uh, more intuitive to use the distance tool, create measure tool distance tool for Maya if you use that a lot. And the uh, let me show you the. I have something, just a cube here. So the uh, first tool, select two vertices, is uh, so you select the two vertices and press this button will give you the distance between those vertices. And this uh, also works uh, between objects. It doesn't have to be on one. So let's say from this, from this to these vertices. Uh, that will work. You can press uh, G key to repeat the command and it will update um, update the uh, value here. And this is for the uh, this uh, tool. Now the uh, this button creates the uh, distance tool on the selected vertices. Uh, I need it. So again you select two vertices and then press the button it will create the uh, distance tool between those uh, selected vertices. Now what's great about this uh, that it also add additional uh, feature and that is that it uh, constrains the uh, distance tool to those uh, two vertices. So if you move the uh, scale the object for example it will update or if you move the components uh, the value will update and the tool also. So you can, uh, of course, add a bunch of them if you want, uh, like this, for example. And then if you move it, that's another one. Just, uh, just a little fun. So if you move it, uh, the all the values uh, will update accordingly. And of course, it also works uh, between the objects. Uh, let's see. So you select both objects, and it, if you select on uh, vertices on two objects and uh, create a distance tool, it will add uh, between those. And if you move it, it will update. Uh, let's add more of this because why not? So 
So if you use those, uh, if you use a lot of distance tool, this can be uh, very useful uh, uh, to use. And the uh, this trash icon basically it just cleans every every distance tool in the scene. So be careful if you have some uh, uh, other distance tool and you don't want to delete it. This tool will delete it. So be careful about that. And if you press it, it will just clean everything up. Now what I want to mention here is that uh, this is the version uh, for Maya, regular Maya, and for uh, but why is this there difference between Maya LT? Uh, it looks the same and it works the same also. So if you if you press the uh, button, it will uh, show you the distance between those selected vertices. And if you uh, create the distance tool, it will exactly the same create between those uh, two vertices. The difference is though that uh, it doesn't work uh, uh, when you move the components. It will not move. Uh, uh, it will not update the uh, the distance tools with it. So, as you can see. Everything works exactly the same. It just does. It just doesn't update uh, as it is with the regular Maya version, and this is because uh, there are some missing features in Maya LT, and uh, so far I didn't found the solution to uh, uh, work around to, to make it work in LT. But we'll see in the future. So that's the only version. Uh, that's the only difference between those two. Now another thing uh, is uh, handy for those who use US uh, a system which uh, based on inches, feet and yards converts into meters. So how it works you can just uh, press uh, enter and it will go into meters and if you enter the uh, meters you need, I don't know, whatever, it will make the uh, convert to inches, meters to inches and it works both ways. Now those buttons will uh, change the uh, in which one, uh, inches to meters, inches to millimeters works the same. If you input mi something here, it will update. So yep. So it's just a quick conversion tools and centimeters and millimeters. Okay, so this is basically uh, everything here. I hope you find these uh, features uh, too useful and if you have some uh, ideas, suggestions and perhaps some other uh, units you want to add here, you you use a lot, uh, let me know on my email, you will find on the uh, Gumroad uh, product description. Okay, that's it.